In that backfired news, submitted by Courage the Cowardly Dog, missed that show, Arizona's positive ticketing campaign gets backlash from Twitter. What the hell is a positive ticketing? They go, oh, we're driving 64 miles an hour. They're like, yay, you got a ticket! Uh, <laughs> the cops try to come at it from a positive Yeah, they're like, hey! <laughs> like, I got great news, yeah. you're getting a ticket. Yeah. They still gotta go, woo, and you're still having a fucking heart attack, and you're like, wait, I'm driving 60 miles an hour, what the fuck? They pop confetti when you get the ticket. <laughs> They have the gun, and they go, boom, yeah. confetti. Oh shit, they knock on the window. Dude, I want a positive SWAT That's team. good. That'd be so cool if there's a positive SWAT team, they break the fucking door down. Keep your fucking hands up, cause it's fucking party time. And then, and then the, there's two guys with wrenches, and they pull out the um, screwdrivers, and they start fixing your door. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Sorry yeah, about sorry, that. sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry back up you. in a GIF. Yeah. yeah, and they have the, the attack dog come out, fucking jump on you, and things gonna bite you, but it just licks you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the city in Arizona, the local news outlet tweeted this out. Would you like to read? Sure. Today, police are kicking off a campaign to promote good driving. Officers will be pulling people over who are following traffic laws. Wow. Oh my god, but instead of a ticket, you'll get a coupon for a free drink at Circle K. Give us your reaction to this new initiative below. I'm so stressed. I'd be like, don't waste my fucking time, bro. Yeah. Like, what if someone's in a hurry? Yeah. Someone's, like, what the fuck? Yeah, you get pulled over and they waste like 20 of your minutes. Cool. Guys, they're trying to remove the stigma around ticketing. But they're like, you they're get like, a free Ooh. drink at Circle K. I'm like, Bitch, I don't even drink soda. If they want to do that, what would be dope is if there's like a free get out of court card. Oh, that that has to be equivalent. Like yeah. if you if you speed yeah, and you have yeah. to go to court and you have to do all this legal bullshit, I don't want a free fucking drink. <laughs> I want a, another thing that's gonna balance out the court that's shit. True. Yeah. It's like you have good you know driving skills and whatever, and they're like they want to compliment you, but then they give you a free like pass for something. Like next time you can speed, but because you've been such a, you've been on good behavior. Yeah, cause if Circle K mailed me a coupon and I opened it at my house, I'd still throw it in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> like it's what? not that I great. I don't know where Circle K is. Is it a free drink or is it like a free Mike's Hard Lemonade Tall Boy? Well, I don't think that kind of drink. Yeah, probably not, right? It's probably an Arizona. Like, hey, you're not drinking and driving. Why don't you go and have a drink? Right. Ah! Why don't you go buy a Tall Boy? You have a drink. <laughs> Yeah, so that's when there was a lot of backlash. They were like, what the fuck? Don't interrupt my day yeah. and give me a heart attack by pulling me over over some stupid free drink coupon. Did you say this is Canada? It's, it's Arizona. 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 Especially if you're like already used to getting profiled and yep. stuff. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I'd have a heart attack if I was Mexican. I used to have a cholo car. Because <laughs> in Arizona, oh. catch up Mexicans and that's right, that's yeah. right. they're randomly stopping Mexicans at stores and all that shit. Gotcha. Oh, I thought you were talking about you'd have a heart attack if you're Mexican because of the obesity rate for Mexicans. That too. Wow. That too. A it's just a statistical right? fact. Yep. It's true. Statistical. You don't hear a peep out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no peeps. Oh, I had a Chola car because I bought it off eBay from this Chola chick, and it was like all all decked out with like rims and like that like base. You know how they used to have the like subwoofers? Yeah, card. subwoofers. Yeah. Tinted windows and shit. And I got pulled over all the time because they thought I was gangster. That's and then I rolled down the window. They're like. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you had the spinner hubcaps and shit. Oh, I miss those. You're immediately like, it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yes? <laughs> they're like, oh, have you been drinking and driving? I'm like, no? And they're like, oh, never mind. So that means you just drive like shit. <laughs> no, they pull me Oh, no, they're profiling oh. her. Geo. Oh, I'm, I'm, her I'm baby driver. I'm a fucking beast on the oh, road. Okay. Watch out. It's not fun to drive in that case. It's not. Oh. But <laughs> hey, you get there, don't you? Oh, dude. So you get there. true. Uh, so, so, so yesterday I was, I was, out, I, I was getting lunch. I wanted a, a banh mi sandwich. Mm. I was craving me. it big time. A band me. And uh, so I, I pull up this place and I, I'm like, oh shit, 15 minute parking, this is gonna suck. So I, I set a timer on my phone for 15 minutes from now. And then I'm in there and of course it takes forever, it's not, it's not ready in time. So I go out there and I feed the meter and then I look next to me and I see the, the, the traffic cop guy has, has parked. Meter me. And he's walking over and then there's this chick, he, 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 I think for, for a second I'm like, I could go feed that meter too. But I didn't. And then I stood there and I watched him ticket it. And then I watched this chick come out and I sort of like watched it, watched her get ticketed like I was watching someone die. Like I was. And she was like, oh man. <laughs> like I was like, I could have stopped this, but I just want to see what it looks like. 
often this happens. You don't, I, You're that fucking that happens, evil. That happens, isn't, that, isn't that weird? That that happens, that's like evil. a kid killing a, a, a cat because he wants to see what it's like to die. Yes. That happened to me too. Yeah. So I was at uh, I was at H Mart, which is like an Asian supermarket. So you already know Asians can't drive, right? Like no one's ever paying attention. So as I was coming out of the supermarket, I like how you come out like this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like an Asian person. He comes out of the Asian supermarket. <laughs> Asian person. So as I was coming out, there's this lady with a shopping cart. Um, she was pushing it, but she wasn't paying attention. I think oh, she was like God. counting whatever vegetables or whatever that she had. <laughs> and then there was a car coming this way, and the two dudes, the two Asian dudes, they're locked eyes. So yeah, I could already see the car come and just hit that shopping cart and make it fly. And I was there and I was kind of like, you like, oh shit, is this is gonna happen. <laughs> and I was kind of, I was kind of hoping it was gonna happen. Like if, it was, if the car was coming really fast, I would have stopped her. Like, I don't want her to die. But, but you want to see the shopping cart. It was just enough for it to knock the shopping cart over. And then finally like, she was like, oh shit, like this. And then he slammed on the brakes and I'm like, ah, oh, no one died. That's too bad. I yeah, know. That's like that scene in, in Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire where he stops being Spider-Man and then he sees some shit go down and he's like, no, I'm seeing a taco. <laughs> Yeah. Do you, guys, do you guys remember Jackass's meter maid? No. Where he dressed up in a maid outfit, and every time the parking meter attendant oh, came, yeah. he would fucking put coins inside. <laughs> I forgot about that. Like, so they couldn't write the ticket at all? They would get so pissed <laughs> off. Because they're like, oh, I want to write this ticket so bad. Funny. Damn. Good. So back to this story here with the positive ticketing campaign. So the police department announced, like, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know how this got messed up, but we are not pulling over people, like drivers. <laughs> this is only for pedestrians and biking, people that are biking. Like they're walking good? Bicyclists. Yeah, so they said the um, they're going to be observing pedestrians and bicyclists who follow traffic laws. Thank you for not jaywalking. they will walk up to them afterwards and then thank them by giving them the free drink coupon. And they're saying, That's still scary as fuck. Where they're like, "Hey!" <laughs> All right, so I, I got a, I got a good walker. I got a good walker coming towards me. I'm gonna be approaching them. And you're just like, "What the fuck?" Well, so they're saying that this is all about consensual interactions. I don't want no cops near me. Nope. <laughs> yeah, so they're saying like one example would be uh, an officer at station at a school. A cop might see a student biking with a helmet on, and then later on, <laughs> he just tackles his ass. Come up to them and say that they appreciate that they were following the laws. And yeah, so they're just saying this is the, what they tweeted. Out. Would you like to read it? Positive ticketing campaign. The purpose of the event is to positively engage with the public regarding laws pertaining to bicyclists, scooter, and pedestrian safety. During this campaign, at Tempe Police will not be proactively stopping vehicles, bicycles, scooters, or pedestrians. Now you know what they need to do is just flash dance. That'll get them on the good side with people. What's flash like, dance? Like, like fucking flash mob, you know? Like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Just at the mall. I was thinking like flash dance. The, like the, the, the Everyone just starts dancing. dancing. <laughs> no, like, like that, but like like the flash mob style with uh, the fucking you, water bucket. Or they just have a different kind of uniform, like boas or like something that makes you go like, oh, it's a nice cop, he's giving me a coupon. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Not like, oh shit, what did I do? Yeah. The week. yeah. I think that it's the, the, the delivery system for the message is wrong. Like if they hire a bunch of mimes, to, to come up to people yeah. and like positively oh, engage with them and then give them a coupon or something. And it this is from the police department. Oh, mines are too stressful? Yeah, because he's gonna be like, <laughs> and you're like, oh no, I trapped oh, no. in a box. Yeah. How well, about a clown cop? Like, oh. No, that's 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 But that's a jerk mime, right? I'm talking about like nice mimes. Okay, Show right. me. They're, they're a jerk. <laughs> nice mime. I've yeah, never seen a, nice a mime, mime in person, period, ever. You so what's, a, mime? what's really? a nice mime? Jerk, like jerk mime. mimes are the ones who like who make you feel like you're in a box. The French ones are the asshole ones. A nice mime is just, you know. That's fucking a murderer, dude. And they have like the flower. A little flower with the little. Little water. You ever seen a mime? It's like a white face, and then they got like a beret. I've seen that, like yeah. the cartoon mime. Yeah, yeah. Animaniacs. The nice mime that he's talking about. What is that? Kind mime. A kind mime. A mime that do? won't put you in a box. Yeah. What is he doing mimes. then instead? He's like on a. He's got like a little rope, and yeah, he's like pulling like, himself. Yeah. And, and then okay. he goes down. Oh, some stairs. Yeah. He goes down some stairs. Yeah, he goes downstairs. And then he goes. He goes on, a, on an elevator, and then he goes down. We need. Yeah. We need a cop in a costume, like a dog outfit or something. That's gonna. Like remember, Mr. yeah, that's what she was saying with the boa and everything. Yeah, like some oh, sort of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just have the firefighters do this. Everyone likes a firefighter. Oh, true. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. When I say, well, no, no, but it defeats the purpose because we want the police to like look good. They, that's impossible. Use, yeah. I know what would make them less threatening. If they all just wore short shorts. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, oh, like Reno 911. They're on skates. Yeah. I would 
would be like, hell yeah, this is the party cop. Yeah. That's pretty good. There we go. That's true. You know the what? YMCA cops. In, in Hollywood, uh, when I lived there, they used to like actually have the the horse cops and they were they would yeah. ticket homeless people. <laughs> it was pretty sad. Cause you think like, oh, it's the horse cops, but then they were like actually. They and then the horses shit on them? <laughs> they shit on their tents. They like, just hey, drop low. They give a ticket for them shitting on yeah. the sidewalk and then the horse shits on the sidewalk. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, what do those cops do? Do they I don't pick know. up after their shit? I feel like they're riot control. No. I've seen a lot of horse shit. <laughs> but they have like our tax dollars pay to clean Hollywood every every day, so. Every night with pressure washers. Yeah. Really? Because it's still it. oh, yeah. filthy. Yeah, they just hose it down, but Hell. they don't like use it any soap or anything. Smells like urine at night, like Hollywood Highland. Yeah. And then by the next morning, they hose it all down. Wow. It still smells like urine. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. They clean it every day and it still looks it like shit. It smells like wet. And it smells like shit. Come to Gotta Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, come on down. It's great, guys.